would be the number one piece of advice that you would kind of give to a new trader or a developing trader from all of those interviews? The number one is you gotta surround yourself with more traders. So the more you surround yourself with people that have the goal you wanna have, the closer you're getting to a goal, that's for sure. I found that just by, by me surrounding myself with people that make, let's say six figures trading per year, I would be getting closer to that goal. And then as I move forward, I surround myself with people that are at, the, at a higher level, of course, and that just helps to kind of grow. Now that's the first thing. The second thing is I think, given that you surround yourself with more people then you're gonna learn from outside sources, you gotta spend a lot of time working on yourself and working on how you do things, um, what habits you have, what thoughts you have, working on your mindset of course, which is kind of cliche but works really well. And you gotta take some time to kind of do the, the work on yourself and on your trading, on your metrics. And has, that has to be done. So there's some work to be done outside your trading but also inside like with yourself basically. Right, yeah. So leading on from that, what do you think is the number one reason people fail? Well, there's a lot of reasons people fail, but yeah. to summarize it all, I think they just don't treat trading like a business. They see things and they, they see it as a game or as a gamble or as a way to make money that, that doesn't require much work. And that's like a sexy idea, right? Just don't do much work, just trade and you'll be making money. Well, yeah, but that's not how things work. So I, I think that's, that's the main thing. They don't see it as a business and they don't take it seriously. So if, if a new trader wasn't taking it seriously and um, maybe they weren't, they didn't have the business plan or the long-term mindset. What would you say to them to help them develop that long-term mindset and that business uh, brain for the markets? One thing that's interesting is you can talk to business owners and I learn a lot from like business books about, and then you can apply it to trading. So you read these books about mm -hmm. business, they can apply. Or you talk to business owners and they will tell you things that you think about it a little bit more and then you say, oh yeah, I can tweak the, I can for sure tweak this to trading. And that's something that's pretty really powerful. So there's been a lot of lessons that I got. And if you look at like all these processes in business, all the things that they do, they're not doing them just for fun. They're there for a reason. And as traders, we tend to forget doing them, but we have to do them. Like things like R&D, so like research and development, you can work on that. Things like um, all the operation, the checklist that, that they have in businesses, in, in uh, airlines or whatever. Those are things you can work on yourself. And all the aspect that you think that you don't have to do yourself, like taxes or whatever, you cannot source them. You cannot have people that work for you that do that. So I think that's yeah. something you can work on. And if you have the same diligence as the CEO in your trading, then you'll get results for sure, eventually. Yeah, that's, that's really good. Because um, I think a lot of new traders don't have that kind of business, uh, almost like a business plan, I guess. They have the trading plan, but then they don't have the business plan to go along with that. Um, so I think that's really good. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's the business plan, but it's also the mindset, right? So yeah. most people that, that trade, they are what we could call like a like um, an employee that, that's there like on the front, but they forget that if they want to trade well, they have to take the mindset of a CEO. And the CEO is not going to complain because he has like three or four refunds in a row, while traders complain that they have three or four yeah. losses in a row. So you got to sit in a different perspective. And that's probably going to include seeing things on a higher scale, like looking at the, the results for like the month or the quarter and making a decision of that, not just like three or four trades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how, did you have that business mindset and uh, plan when you came into trading to begin with? Or was that something that you had to develop? No, definitely had to develop. So I studied in, uh, in business and in commerce at university. Mm. And I had I had some businesses before that. Before that, I was I was doing websites, uh, creating websites for people. But okay. I didn't think I was applying any of that in trading when I started. So the first two years, I thought trading was different. Trading is a way is a thing where you can just trade and learn strategies and make money with it. Mm. But then over time, I learned that it didn't work that way. And I had to kind of be more organized um, and apply all the things I learned. Sometimes in university, sometimes not. But things that I learned over time, or things you read about businesses, I could apply them in trading really well. 